In the previous video, we introduced Atkinson Schifrin's multi-store model of memory. Remember that the three types of memory are sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. And their multi-store model looked a little bit like this. We suggested in the last video that rehearsal can be used to encode stimuli from short-term memory into long-term memory. Rehearsal can also be used to keep information in short-term memory for a longer duration. But there are two different types of rehearsal, maintenance rehearsal and elaborative rehearsal. So what's the difference? Maintenance rehearsal is pretty simple. It involves continually repeating information in your head or out loud to make sure that the information is not lost. For example, if you had to remember a list of items to get at the shop, you might continually repeat to yourself, milk, eggs, bread, juice, butter, sugar, apples, cereal. This is a good technique to keep information in short-term memory, but it is unlikely to be effective in encoding information to long-term memory. That is, you probably won't be able to remember that list of items in two weeks' time. Elaborative rehearsal is what's required for information to become encoded into long-term memory. Elaborative rehearsal is, as the name suggests, more elaborate than maintenance rehearsal. We're doing more than simply repeating information over and over again. In elaborative rehearsal, we're linking the new information to something that we already know. We're making meaningful connections. This is what helps us to remember the information in the long term. We can do this by using mnemonic devices such as acronyms or abbreviations, by turning the information into a story, or simply by using a new word in a sentence. For example, if you're trying to use the word appreciate, but struggle to remember its meaning, recognize the worth of, we can use it in the sentence, I truly appreciate this psychology video. Then the new word appreciate is being used in context. It is being linked to what we already know. This is elaborative rehearsal. What might Vika ask about all of this then? Well, let's have a look. This is a question from the 2013 Vika exam. It reads, when Troy met his girlfriend's family for the first time, he wanted to remember their names. To do this, he mentally repeated each name in his head over and over again. The process that he used is called A, chunking, B, an acrostic, C, elaborative rehearsal, or D, maintenance rehearsal. Troy repeated the names over and over again so that the information would be maintained in short-term memory. He didn't try to link the new information, his girlfriend's family's names, to existing information. Thus, the correct response here is option D, maintenance rehearsal. And here is another question, this time from the 2011 VCA exam. Rowan and Lisa were studying for a Japanese examination. Lisa memorised her Japanese vocabulary over two months by associating each new word with words and topics that she had previously learnt. Rowan learnt the Japanese vocabulary during the last few days before the examination by repeating each word over and over. Lisa's examination result was much better than Rowan's. It is likely that Lisa performed better than Rowan on the examination because A. She probably did not use mnemonic devices. B. Rowan made the task much more difficult through elaboration. C. She used elaborative rehearsal which made the new vocabulary more meaningful. Or D, maintenance rehearsal is a very effective method for transferring information to long-term memory. We know that option A is not the correct response. This is because Lisa possibly did use mnemonic devices. She linked the new information to information that she already had in long-term memory by associating the new words with old topics. Option B is also incorrect because Rowan did not use elaborative techniques. Option D is incorrect because although maintenance rehearsal is a good technique to keep information in short-term memory, it's not a very effective technique for encoding information into long-term memory. And that leaves the correct response. Option C. Lisa used elaborative rehearsal, which made the new vocabulary more meaningful. So to recap, there are two types of rehearsal that can be used to increase the duration of short-term memory and sometimes to encode information into long-term memory. Keep working hard and have a psychedelic day.